Good morning, this is Tim McGowan with the Finance News Network. US equities were sharply higher on Wednesday trading with support from better than, than feared big tech earnings and clarity around interest rates after the Fed's 75 basis point rate rise announcement. Stock hit their highs of the session in the afternoon as Fed Chairman Jerome Powell left the door open about the size of the central bank's rate move at its next meeting in September and noted it would eventually slow the magnitude of rate hikes. The market currently expects a 50 basis point move. Investors were also encouraged after Powell noted that he doesn't believe the economy is in a recession. The second quarter GDP reading is due on Thursday and will confirm this one way or another. The Dow Jones Industrial Average jumped 1.4%, the S&P 500 gained 2.62%, while the Nasdaq Composite rose 4%. Overnight, the US Senate passed a $280 billion bill to counter China. In a rare bipartisan fashion, the US Senate passed an expansive $280 billion bill aimed at building up America's manufacturing and technological edge to counter China. Did you know the most advanced category of mass-produced semiconductors? used in smartphones, military technology, and much more, is made by a single company in Taiwan, which makes about 90% of them. The US factories make none. The US military relies on these chips, hence the passing of this bill to fund the manufacturer of these semiconductors in the US. Stock started the day on a high note after getting a boost from tech earnings. Tech stocks added to those gains as the overall market rallied. The strength in tech stocks was reflected across the sectors, with communication services, IT and consumer discretionary significantly outperforming. Alphabet shares rose about 7.7% after the tech giant's quarterly report showed strong revenue from Google's search business. Microsoft gained close to 6.7% after reporting a 40% jump in revenue growth. Microsoft's profits, while below expectations, were still up. Sales of its signature products like Office rose set 13%. Its cloud services were up 40% and LinkedIn, the professional social network Microsoft bought in 2016, grew 26% from a year ago, continuing to benefit from the tightest job market in decades. Meta platform shares rose 6% ahead of its earnings scheduled for aftermarket and the stock is currently down 4% aftermarket post its earnings report. Amazon advanced more than 5% after getting hit by the retail carnage on Tuesday. Apple added 3.4%. Retailers rallied too as inflation concerns softened Wednesday afternoon. Walmart, which led the retail declines in the previous session, climbed about 3.8% and Costco added 2%. The S&P 500 retail ETF advanced roughly 2.5%. One Australian dollar has strengthened overnight compared to the US dollar, buying 70 cents. In commodity news, iron ore futures are pointing to a 2.8% gain today. Gold gained 0.9%. Silver was up 2.8% and copper was up 2.6%. Oil gained 3.4% to $98.24 a barrel. Overnight, Bitcoin futures were up a massive 9%, back above that $22,000 level. And the SPY futures are pointing today to a 0.8% gain. This is Tim McGowan for the Finance News Network. Have a great day.